There is so much out there beyond our horizons for us to explore and venture into, from distant exoplanets to strange happenings within our own solar system. The universe is there for us to explore. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three amazing astronomical discoveries within recent years. Cosmic Objects with Strange Orbits Discovered Beyond Neptune Some scientists have been speculating about some strange happenings in our solar system. Plenty of odd observations could be explained by the presence of an elusive, hidden ninth planet. Planet 9 is a theoretical planet that might be lurking in the outer edge of our solar system. If there is a ninth planet hiding, then the odd way some celestial objects have been clustering begins to make more sense and can be explained away by the impact of the ninth planet's gravitational pull. However, scientists have looked and looked for this planet, never finding it. Some 2021 research could be adding more evidence to this theory. Beyond Neptune, the outermost planet in our solar system, unfortunately for Pluto, there has been a strange series of discoveries. A part of a six-year surveying of outer space has found that lying just outside of Neptune's orbit, there are 461 objects that are yet to be explained. These newly found unexplained objects are varied in distance, with some lying more than 230 astronomical units outwards from us here on Earth, or in other words, they are 230 times further away from the Sun than Earth is. Some scientists are suggesting that these items may be being pulled around by the mysterious Planet 9, with the gravity from the planet disturbing the orbits of these rocky objects sitting on the edge of our solar system. The observations that have recently added to the theories are a result of the Dark Energy Survey, a project aiming to map out the galactic structure of the universe and find out more about the little understood concept of dark matter. This began way back in 2013, and now, after six years of observations taken from the Blanco Telescope in Cerro Tololo in Chile, 817 new objects have been confirmed, and 461 of them are these strange rocky objects beyond Neptune's orbit. The closest ones are just 30 AU away, with the furthest being 230 AU. This places them in the edges of the solar system along with 3,000 other trans-Neptunian objects, sometimes called TNOs, that we know to be in these depths of the solar system. Some of these TNOs include dwarf planets, like the Earth-favorite Pluto as well as Eris, alongside smaller objects like Arakoth in the Kuiper Belt, a rocky object that was investigated by the New Horizons spacecraft in 2019. As you would expect, some of these TNOs are much more notable than the rest, with nine particularly standing out compared to the other 452. These nine are considered to be extreme trans-Neptunian objects, as the orbits are a minimum of 150 AUs from the Sun and four reaching the whopping 230 AUs. This means that these objects are barely impacted by the gravity on Neptune they are simply too far away for that to happen. However, their orbits do suggest some form of influence, leading researchers to suggest Planet 9. Firstly, however, as with any theory, there are some who offer alternate solutions and ideas. Not everyone agrees this is the result of a possible Planet 9. Some have suggested this is simply a statistical anomaly, and others think that it could be a combined gravitational influence from lots of smaller celestial objects. Some other aspects of this research are fascinating too. For example, it is not just the extreme nine objects that are somewhat detached from Neptune. A minimum of 155 of these 461 objects are also classed as being detached, meaning the gravity from the planet has little effect upon them. This often results in a huge elliptical orbit as they are attached to the solar system only by the faraway attraction of the Sun. A final exciting part about this research is that it was all accidental. Never was the Dark Energy Survey designed to search for trans-Neptunian objects. 
Despite this, 20% of all TNOs that we are aware of is within this research, spanning an eighth of our skies. Maybe this research can help point us towards Planet Nine, or maybe there is no such thing. Either way, this research is fascinating as we aim to figure out what is causing objects in space to act the way that they do. Stars may be forming 10 times faster than first thought. Whilst we do know a fair bit about the complicated life cycle of a star, whether it becomes a supernova, a white dwarf, or one of plenty of other options, there is still a great deal of mystery, especially right at the start. We know that the initial time it takes for the star to begin to form, the gestation period, can be incredibly long, taking up to millions of years. But research published in early 2022 has revealed that this process could be happening at a much quicker pace than previously thought. A research team based in China used the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, also known as FAST, to observe the inside of a molecular cloud. A molecular cloud is rich in gas and dust, meaning that stars are able to form within them. These wispy clouds have low temperatures and high densities, meaning that if a star is being formed, it must occur within a molecular cloud. The particular cloud observed by this team of astronomers was LINS 1544, a giant gas cloud just 450 light years away, found within the Taurus constellation. Some scientists have begun to speculate that a star may be just about to be produced at this cloud. It has become a fascinating point of observation. Studying the very start of a star is incredibly useful information, and it begins with knowing about the molecular clouds. As we mentioned previously, the high densities and low temperatures form the perfect environment for the stars. The clouds are pulled together by gravity, bringing the hydrogen gas close meaning a pre-stellar core can be formed. The densities of these cores are so high that they often collapse, folding in on themselves and starting a nuclear fusion process. The magnetic forces then hold the matter still, slowing the process down significantly. After the gas cloud, the star evolves into a stellar embryo, an incredibly slow portion of the process, helped along by the gravity and magnetic forces already in the process. The strange part is that in LINS 1544, this slow process that we know can take so long did not happen. Instead, hundreds of stars were seen to be in the early stages of their formation and developing ten times quicker than what was anticipated. Scientists have begun to speculate why, with some suggesting this difference is due to weak magnetic forces, that the magnetic field in between the densest portion of the gas cloud and the edges of the cloud was revealed to be 13 times weaker than once thought. Fast, the telescope making these observations, is only able to measure the middle region of the cloud, which, whilst this does contain one of the most significant portions of information, plenty more aspects are also incredibly useful. Is there a missing or less accurate piece of the puzzle that if we found could clear up this picture? If we can observe similar patterns in the magnetic fields of other gas clouds, then this research would have a significant impact upon how we view star formation and the pace of this process. TOI 674b There is so much that lies beyond our solar system, waiting to be explored and discovered. At school, you may have memorized the eight planets of our solar system and a notable mention to Pluto. It should not be surprising that planets exist outside of our solar system too. These are exoplanets and some scientists believe investigating these should be the next step in understanding what is out there. Perhaps we will find one just like Earth and if we do, will it support life? The main piece of equipment being used to conduct this research is TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS is operating under NASA's Explorer program and is the primary space telescope looking for exoplanets. TESS was launched four years ago and has smashed expectations, identifying 2,601 celestial objects that could be exoplanets. Once these are indicated, more research is taken to confirm planetary status, and so 122 exoplanets have been confirmed so far as a result of TESS. 
Of course, there are plenty of fascinating stories because of Tess, from the planets that could possibly be hosts to finding out what is hiding behind some of the brightest stars nearby. One exoplanet, discovered in the January of 2021 by Tess, is TOI 640b. Following the discovery, scientists used a variety of techniques, including spectroscopic and photometric observations, to confirm that this was indeed an exoplanet. The results described TOI 640b as a low-density super-Neptune planet transiting an M-dwarf star. Overall, what we know about the exoplanet so far is that it lies 1,115 light-years away from Earth, has an orbital period of just five days, and has been confirmed as one of the largest super-Neptune-class planets found to orbit an M-type star. Hopefully, as TESS continues to do more great research and uncover more and more, we will find more exoplanets that can tell us about what else is out there, from possible life to star types. But what do you make of these amazing space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.